thoughts about a number of chapters in Second Kings, starting with chapter 11. This whole deal with, uh, let's see, who was it that killed Athaliah, the mother of Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead, uh, she arose and destroyed all the seed royal. Ahaziah, no, Athaliah, the mother of Ahaziah. Okay, this is where it gets really confusing. <laughs> and if you look in the, chrono the chronology, or the genealogy of it, Matthew, but remember, we're not supposed to argue and dispute over genealogies, endless genealogies. Just take it for what we get and don't, you know, don't get hung up on the names, the pronunciations, the, the people. But find the deeper meaning. Ask the Lord God, what is it? What is it? What is it that we need to learn from this for us now? But nonetheless, here's some stuff. Here's some stuff. This is more of a point of, once again, the fact that God didn't make his book easy to understand. For the folks who I talk to every day on Livestream.com, how you doing? <laughs> um, they know what I'm talking about. I keep mentioning this. It's not easy to understand. This is not cut and dry stuff. This is not ever meant to be, oh, they, they take the Bible and they say we'll make it easier for you to understand here we'll change a bunch of stuff and I've even pointed out here on this channel a lot of the stuff that has been changed in the versions of the Bible but God's Word says that Judah in Hosea 11 12 remained true to God Ephraim compass me about with lies Israel well, I can't remember what it says <laughs> Hosea 11, 12. Okay, but anyways, Jehoiada, that's the priest. Joash, there it is. Joash was stole away and kept by the priest. Um, the priest said, you know, you, thir you third of you people do this. You, you other third do this. And then you final third... Do this and watch over this kid and keep him safe. And then they finally made him king. And they said, God save the king, God save the king. And Athaliah heard the noise of the guard and she said, Treason! I'm giving you the short version here. But look, once again, Joash, that's his name. At the end of the chapter, it mentions Jehoash. Same guy. Seven year old kid. He reigned 40 years, was killed. So he lived to be 47 years old. But here's another example of how it gets really confusing. In the meantime, over here in Israel, uh, in the 3 and 20th year of Joash, remember, who was also known as Jehoash, the son of Ahaziah, king of Judah, Jehoahaz, the son of Jehu, began to reign over Israel. Okay, that's not the one. <laughs> okay, you know what? Maybe I'm totally goofed up. And Joash, okay, Joash, see, there he is. Joash, king over Israel, came down unto him. Joash, Jehoash, Jehoash, okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Jehoahaz was also known as Joash. Uh, maybe you get what I'm talking about anyway. It gets real confusing. Maybe somebody can explain. Thank you. <laughs> 